Hello everyone and welcome to my first video on this YouTube channel. My name is Sanaya and or Simnaya here on YouTube and on this channel I plan on making uh, lots of let's plays, game style, um, game style, gameplay type videos with the occasional build or cast or anything else I honestly feel like sharing. Um, my whole purpose of this channel is just to meet other people in the Sims community and share our love for pixelated characters together. Um, I'm not going to do this super long intro, we're just going to get into it and get started with this short let's play we're going to do, uh, the Honey Sun let's play. So, um, right now we are on a little jog with my sim, Vincent. Um, so while he takes his jog, I will introduce you to him a little bit. So, well, I'll give you kind of a backstory on the entire let's play. So I'm going to be playing Vincent Lake and his fiance Aisha Bedard. Uh, Vincent and Aisha have known each other since they were young. Um, they went to the same schools growing up in Brindleton Bay. And after returning from uni university, they went to uh, different universities. Vincent went to Foxbury. Aisha had a distinguished degree at Brightchester. Uh, they kind of rekindled their friendship and which soon became a romance and now they are engaged so they are set to get engaged um, get engaged get married within the year or so i'm gonna pause really quick um but yes yeah, so they're set to be married within the year or so and before that they decided to have a pre-honeymoon almost before they start settling down in their lives and in their careers so i called it the honey sun uh so they're going to be traveling around the sims world to four different places over the next year a different place for every season and i have the season set to 14 days right now i have recorded this video one time and i had all of this backstory and stuff planned out but it just it just wasn't working with me so i just decided to Go with whatever comes to my head and just just start recording to be honest so i just finished watching a kid drama and i'm like i'm hyped up i'm amped so yeah vincent he's on a little jog around where they're staying so they're rental in quotes it's residential but in my head vincent is staying at it. it's a friend's house and they're loaning it out to him for the summer not summer the winter it's winter right now and they're staying in wakaba um, I'll show you the house shortly. Actually, Vincent is a photographer, so I know he was just doing a little run, but I kind of want him to stop and take some photos. Um, so yes, he's a freelance photographer, and uh, I show who you'll meet soon is a writer, and I kind of want them to do a type of editorial together. She's a journalist um, on Mount Kamarebi and the people who live here, so on and so forth. I don't have any drama or anything planned. I kind of just want a little wholesome gameplay, kind of appreciate the world because I don't usually do that. You should just kind of play. But yeah, so I kind of want him to meet people. Um, fun fact, Vincent, one of his traits is outgoing. I'll go over his traits really quick. So considering he's outgoing, I just figured that he is the type to, oh, he's famous. I forgot, Naoki's famous. I think there's Naoki. But yeah, to just kind of introduce himself to anyone and everyone. And he probably like, all right, this is so extra. Maybe he just knew who Naoki was and he knew that he lived in Mount Kamarebi. And he's excited to have actually seen him in person. Is it, did it work or is it just, hi? All right, whatever. Thing. I kind of wanted him to meet him, but we're going to have him come over here and read about some stuff going on because while they're here, I want them to do a little bit of everything that comes with Mount Komorebi. Um, I have Vincent, his aspiration currently is the Mount Komorebi sightseer, and with the first part of the aspiration, it's they want to eat food at a festival, any of them, light snow or youth, take a selfie with the Mount Kumarabi mascot, collect a simi by popping open a simi castle and swim for an hour in the Wakaba River. So I don't know if I'm going to do any swimming, to be honest, because it is winter. So I might just cheat that. But I'm going to have him learn about the... What do you think about the festivals? 
I'll check the festival schedule or get information on the next festival. But yeah, hopefully while they're here, I can have them, you know, go skiing, go snowboarding, rock climb, do all the stuff, go to the festivals. But yeah, so while he looks at that, I'll go over his traits with you guys. So Vincent Lake, he, in my head, is approximately 27 years old. Um, Vincent is outgoing, creative, and out, oh shoot, never mind, hold on, hold on, hold on. So the festival snows next and it's on Saturday. So we'll only be here for about two weeks. So we'll probably make it to about two of the festivals. I hope the other one is Festival of Light, I'm pretty sure. I don't really want to go to the Festival of Youth just because neither of them are young and I don't want to really participate in, I think, for the, the little game they play, but I don't really want to do it. So at the Festival of Snow, the Snow Time Festival of Snow outfit, those sculptures and warm up with Ikayaki. But yeah, so yes, he's outgoing, creative, and adventurous. Um, he doesn't want a child right now, and that's with, I think I have the Loompy Now's pregnancy overhaul mod. I don't know if it's still called that. I don't remember what it is. Um, and then he has home turf from having the Mount Kamari Sightseer aspiration. He's a jester and a hero. So a jester um, is also from another mod I have. I might be Wonderful Whims. I'm not sure. But, so, Jester Sims live for the moments of joy, humor, and silliness. Often, though, they are irresponsible, wasting time by playing around instead of focusing on their goals. In Hero, Hero Sims are eager to demonstrate the courage to prove their worth and confidence. Subsequently, they might end up appearing arrogant by looking for faults in others to feel good about themselves or pick fights. How true these really are, I don't know. Um, but we'll see as I play him if what feels right, if I want to play along to these things. But yeah, so um, I want him to also, I think I'm going to do in the next episode, have him go hiking. So maybe I'll have him learn about that. But other than that, um, his milestone is that he's currently a freelancer um, in the photographer career, but I probably won't have him do much of that. I want them to be essentially on vacation right now. And... Um, he has skills. I gave them both skills because I figured they'd have them. They've gone to college and such like that. So I think they would have a good amount of skills by now. His only relationships right now are Aisha, who we'll see in a second. And um, I just have his cameras in there and then some of the pictures he just took. And other than that, I think that's about it for Vincent. Vincent graduated from Foxbury with a degree in photography. And yeah. So I had him go on a little run because I don't really have much planned. I know first parts tend to be a bit talkative. So my only real plans are to get to know them and then head off to a restaurant and that's it. So Vincent in my eyes is the more active, outgoing of the two. So I felt like it was a perfect thing for him to kind of go for a walk, look around, um, get to know some locals kind of if he sees anybody and just explore so i want him to go for a jog i honestly wanted him to go for a walk but there's no hiking trails around here um i think they're all in Simbamachi, which seems ridiculous because i don't know there's just so much they could have done with this part of the world other than just this little plaza here it's just so i think it's nice to walk around i used to have a sim that lived here and he would bike around and i thought it was I don't know, it was really nice because he had a dog as well, but not for him. So he has like an impromptu jog wherever he's going, to be honest. Yeah, I kind of just want him to explore. I'm probably going to come back super excited to tell Aisha all about it. Um, Aisha's definitely, she's not a loner or like socially awkward, but she doesn't mind being by herself. All right, bro, it's kind of cute out here. Why are you, why are you bugging? But, um... Yeah, but uh, I think he'd be super excited to just tell her about all the things he saw on how beautiful it is and how she should get out. Right now, she's writing some stuff for her book. Let's see if I can have him say hi. Hold on. Hold on. Stop. Don't go anywhere. Hello. Cheerful introduction. So I gave most of the townies um, in Mount Kamarebi makeovers, uh, except for, as you saw, Naoki and I think his wife 
and their daughter. I obviously gave Kiyoshi a little makeover, but after doing the two other families, I wasn't really in the mood to anymore. But yes, okay, so I kind of want them to get to know some of the townies here and interview them later on in the series. So I need them to make friends. And he, like the way I have his character in my head, he definitely seems like the guy to like strike up a conversation with literally anybody at any time. So he's probably just gonna, hey, you know, my name is, my name is Vince. I'm visiting before I get married. So just wanna explore Mount Kamarebi. Do you have any good places? Things like that. Just went for a jog. I have um, the first impressions mod in by Limpy Now as well. All right, bro, you're kind of loud. Uh, by Limpy Now as well, so I'm gonna check their first impressions of each other. Two good ones. I'm so excited about. Okay, so Vincent's sentiments towards Cato, or yeah, Cato, is he's fun to be around. Immediately upon meeting the Sim, Vincent has the distinct feeling that they're good-tempered and fun to be around. And he thinks that Vincent uh, is adventurous, which is on spot on considering it is one of his traits. This sim seem this sim seems to have lived so much in the city one day, and another the next, from job to job, and from love affair to yet another. That part's not really true. He's been with Aisha like his whole life, but it's fine. Um, it makes them a little fascinating. But probably just because he probably got that impression considering Vince is just striking up a random conversation with this stranger about his life. So we'll talk about our life achievements then. Why is he very angry? Why? <laughs> All right. Maybe Vince made him mad. Maybe he didn't want to talk to him that much. But yeah. Ugh. I love Vince. I don't know why. I just feel like I haven't played much with them. But I just feel like he's kind of a cringy personality, not like cringe trait worthy of cringy, but I don't know. I think he's charismatic, but also probably lacks a little self-awareness the same way Aisha does. Oh, well, look at their faces. Looks pissed. He's living in his own freaking world. But all right, we're not going to keep him there too long talking to him. I'm going to have Vince come out here and just... Look at the water for a bit. Admire the beauty of Mount Kamarebi. Honestly, I, to be honest, don't think Mount Kamarebi is that cute right now, considering we're in between seasons. It was actually supposed to be snowing today, but I didn't want to accept that for my game. So I <laughs> changed the weather with UI cheats. But still, I think, like, how it was made is pretty cute, but this, like, weird orange tree, almost bare leaf, not bare leaf. I don't think it's a cute look for Mount Kamarebi, in my opinion. But yeah, we're gonna get some more good shots of the area. It's kind of bleh, but it's okay. I think Vince is probably gonna, can you call her? Just kidding. Can you send her a text? I don't want him to like call Aisha and be like, hey, I'm on my way back. What are you up to? Nope, not allowed, but at least I completed that whim because I opened my phone. <laughs> but, all right, well, we're gonna have him head back. You can grab some water. I have um, a mod in that gives you like hidden. She finished her book. Hold on. All right, never mind. We're about to switch to Aisha really quick. This is Aisha. This is um, the fiance of Vince. And I don't know how she finished a whole book in that time. I'm probably going to have to make a mod to slow that down because that was way too quick. But yeah, this is Aisha Bedard. Aisha's traits are adventurous, ambitious, and generous. So she is a journalist right now. I don't have her in her career because I don't feel like having her take days off of work. But like, once again, she's on impromptu vacation. She'll join a career once this is all said and done. However, yes, so she is a journalist. She went to Brightchester and got a distinguished degree, not with honors, in language and literature. And um, yeah, so she's a journalist right now and she likes that. However, it's her dream to be an author. Her father is actually an author, like bestsellers out the booty. And she kind of wants to be like him one day. But if you ask her that, she'll just say it's what she wants for her own life. Not to say it's not, but it definitely stems from an admiration of her own, her dad as an author. So 
yeah, she's at the house right now and I had her start the book and apparently I had her finish the book as well. So um, she also has a set of skills and I have her in the best-selling author aspiration right now. And other than that, she's neutral about having kids. She's a muser due to her aspiration. She also has the hero impression and then she has the sage impression as well so sage sims seek wisdom focus on finding their truth in every situation however their knowledge seeking nature might cause them to think too much and not act enough which i feel like is definitely more fitting for her than vince's vince's traits are for him i'm gonna have her head to the bathroom um i kind of want them to go out to eat around we'll say like eight because the place you're going to eat at looks way better at night the lighting's kind of buggy in the morning but until then i'm gonna give you guys a short little tour of their house slash rental okay so this is where they are staying in mount komarebi it is a small little house i made it's not the best house but i like it so in my head vince has a friend that he's met through his career and this person kind of comes in and out of this house kind of like a seasonal home and they tend to go on vacation during the summer. So they offered uh, Vince their home uh, for the winter during his little trip. And so it's not anything too fancy. It's definitely their friend's house. So it's technically free in hand quotes. I'm probably still have to pay bills because uh, Sims Mechanics. And the only stipulation is that their friend keeps a garden and Vince and I should have to take care of and plant the winter seasonal plants instead of her like having a gardener like she usually does so um it's, this is the home i'm gonna give you guys a kind of almost picture tour because i have really horrible controls of the free camera okay so this is the front entryway um the friend is very strict on not wearing shoes in her house according to most um, Mount Comorabian customs. You will not bring your outside dirt into her lovely home. Okay, so this is the bathroom. Um, it's really small, so it's hard to show all at once. This is Aisha washing her hands. Um, and then on the opposite side is the shower tub combo, not combo, because they're not together in one piece, but this is the shower and the tub. Okay, so this is their tiny little kitchen. It's literally diagonal from it's all one main floor to be honest so there's not much everything's like behind each other and next to each other so this is the kitchen um there's a little tea kettle over here and so they can grab their tea in the morning and then these are the seeds that the friend had left for them to plant outside in the backyard and i'll give you guys a little uh, tour of that as well and over here i have my granny's cookbook because i cannot play this game without it anymore this is the living room area super tiny there's no tv but in my opinion in my head uh vince travels with his laptop to edit photos and such like stuff like that on his computer and kind of manage uh his freelance work a little bit even though he's on vacation so i put in the david's apartment laptop i forgot exactly who makes that because I have a lot of CC in this build right now, but I have the David's apartment laptop, which kind of functions as a TV. And I figure that they just sit on this couch and they watch it. And then there's this small dining space where I have Aisha's computer where she, or tablet computer where she writes on the go. Okay, so this is the first part or first area of the garden. When you first walk out to your left, I have two little meditation stool seats for them in case they want to become one with themselves on this trip along with some vertical planters uh, so they can plant those vegetables that were given to them and then this we have the opposite side and we have a little chest set and then a little outdoor seating area with two cups and a drink that's not functional but it's there and then more planters for them to you know once again plant what they were told to plant okay so this is their bedrooms where they'll be staying this is all that there is upstairs so to the left we have a little dresser with like a sculpture that was already here and some of aisha's stuff for her hair there is a 
what is that thing called a wardrobe in the back and the only thing in there right now are vince's suits vince does wear a lot of black it's his favorite color and then i have all their luggage in the corner this is their bed and then behind me if i can get a good shot of it i can't move back just this, this tiny seating area for aisha and uh, vince in the morning okay so vince is back he's gonna grab some water because he's thirsty i'm gonna have aisha come over here Okay, why did it not make her come over here? It's gonna open up these plants. And then she's gonna go outside and plant them. Because honestly, this probably be the only day that it is semi-warm because I made it that way. And so her knees are pretty low, but I'm gonna have her come up here and change her outfit for the day. It's cold outside again, so I'm gonna put her in her winter wear. And then have her come down and grab an umbrella. And then same for Vince. I'll have him come up. I actually haven't play tested this house. So I'm not sure if this dresser works. I put a lot into their outfits. Not a lot, but I really like them. Personally, I think this is probably one of my least favorite Aisha outfits. But in my head, Vince packed a lot for this trip. Well, Aisha did not pack nearly as much, so she's going to be re-wearing a lot of the same jeans, a lot of the same shirts, things like that. But yeah, Vince actually is the more, like how I like to say, expensive girl. He, um, he just, he wears a lot of black, lots of overcoats, and he brought them all because to him, they're all different. And you can't just, you know, it's a different cut of black shirt. It's not the same. Well, Aisha's like, bro, it's just clothes. We're going to be here for two weeks before going home to get more clothes. But yeah. And she's flirty. Aw. She has no social for today. Give him a kiss or something. Because um, I'm not, I'm like too busy talking. I don't have autonomy on. When autonomy is on though, these two they're out here chatting it up they love talking to each other which i love because sometimes i have sims and i want them to be in a loving relationship and for some reason they cannot stand each other and every time they talk they have a problem and it's not the case for these two but i have autonomy off for like honestly the first time in forever i'm gonna be like what i mean by autonomy off is that usually i have it on for my selected like i have autonomy off for the sim that i'm on i have it off right now in general because the sims were just was just doing too much yeah maybe he's gonna express that like he's super excited about this trip and to get married to her and so they're just gonna enthuse about their wedding a little bit give her a, give her a kiss Give her, give her an embrace, you know, before you guys head out. Give the people a reason to, you know, be jealous and hate their own lives. Adorable. Hold on. Um, we'll be right back. When I tell you there's no way the Sims are doing this to me right now before they're supposed to go out to eat, am I going to stop it? No. They are some young folks in love. Also, I'm so sorry. I'm not a person to watch my Sims do, to, do their thing because it feels intrusive. So I will see you guys at the restaurant. When I tell you guys, I have wonderful whims in my game and I have not bought either of them any type of protection. It is episode one. And if this girl ends up pregnant, pregnant, I'm going to be so mad. So mad. I went, no, because it's so, it's not even a joke. I went for the drama. I went and I checked MC, CC, MC Command Center, and to see if she's pregnant. It said she's not. If they try to play me and she starts to faux throw up, I'm gonna get mad. I'm gonna get mad. But anyways, we are at the restaurant. Um, I don't remember the name of this area, but it's where the Izakaya Ipai like bar usually is. So let me. Turn this off. Um, this is a restaurant that I made. It looks way better at night because of how I built it. 
Um, so the lighting kind of comes in weird and I'll give you guys a quick tour. So this is the outside. Next to it is a shell and I made it like a tiny alley. So this is the entryway. It's not like the pillars are not coming in correctly when I go inside the restaurant. So it's the entryway. I have the host stand right here and then right on the other side of this woman right here where you can see the little cup is the bar. And then I have this little window where in a perfect world, my Sims will sit and eat, but not in this world. And then as soon as you enter to your right, we have a bathroom. Let's go through this door slowly but surely. It's nothing extravagant, just a toilet, sink, a light. Make sure you wash your hands. And then this bar, this like the like a handlebar, and then this trash can. Here we are with the first floor seating. It's not much because it's a restaurant slash bar and sometimes I want to function as a bar. It also functions as a karaoke bar, so um, I wasn't really big on having a bunch of seating. I wanted to be kind of a small restaurant, small bar type of deal. So there's Vince and, you know, what's her name? Aisha. And there's another four-seater back there. There's a two right here. There's the kitchen. And then through these doors is a party room. And... What I mean by party room is like if for a party of people, so about six sims, and then it has a little karaoke thing. Um, this restaurant is called the Tipsy Tiger, so I have tigers everywhere. And then if you go upstairs, there's more seating, so there's two tables here. And this is the alleyway, so I have two stalls, so when this lot functions as a bar, I can have them grab food still and they can sit outside. And if it's raining like today, they can sit underneath this little overhang thing we got here. And then the building to the right, once again, is just a shell. And but I put like little signs in to so almost like it's supposed to be a tea slash boba place. Here we are with Aisha and Vince. Um, I feel like Vince is just like, I don't know why I'm doing this to him, but I just feel like he's so extra. Like, I know he's like, oh, we can try this food and we can try this food and we can try this food. And I saw this online and it says this is really good here. And she's probably like, Vince, calm down, calm down. But I'm gonna have them grab two two beers because it feels like a beer kind of day. You know, it's their first night, kind of trying to kick back and relax. It's raining, and if it's raining, obviously we're having soup or ramen. So I think she's gonna get a miso ramen, and for him, I think he'd go for sushi for sure. I don't think he really cares about the rain ramen rule. It's not a real rule, but in my head it is and then i want to change their utensils especially during this trip to chopsticks and i'm going to go with lacquered wood chopsticks why just because honestly i don't i've used the different chopsticks and i know that depending on which country you're in they use different types of chopsticks um some are like more rounded and stuff like that but I don't know if they like translated that into the Sims, so I just pick whichever one comes to my head. Like whatever feels right. Where's the option? Oh, because I'm not clicked on her. Silly girl, silly girl. Utensil preference. We're going to go lacquered wood chopsticks. But yeah, so I kind of want them to just talk about their trip and kind of the stuff they want to do to discuss local fishing spots. And things like that. I think I want them to go fishing. Once again, it is going to snow probably eventually. And I won't be able to do half of the stuff, such as swimming or fishing. But actually, I don't think in The Sims, the like lake freezes over or anything. See, like, if I had this autonomous, I'd even have an autonomous before these... Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me, ma'am. Not my food coming out with a dirty dish. Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you guys move this? <laughs> I'm gonna cry. You're ruining my aesthetic. Can you guys move this? This is also, thank you. This right here is also one of the townies, the elderly lady whose last name is Nishidake, I think, but I don't remember her first name. Sachiko. Um, I gave her a little makeover and let me go into the walls give her a little oh my god turn hold on okay i gave her a little makeover and i want them to talk to her but i think it's a little weird to do on her shift 
But yeah, I am so excited to get started with this series. He definitely take a picture of his food if they let me. They can't. I'm just see if I can take a photo. I want him to take a photo of Aisha eating, and I want. I feel like Vince just can't eat in peace. Like he can't just. Like he has to be extra and special about doing a bunch of other stuff, like having the perfect experience, perfect. What's that thing called? Like tourist experience, and not this dude. I think his name is Michael. Just just chilling here next to our table watching the TV. Whatever, if we crop him out, he's not there. But I want him to take a picture of her. I don't think he'll do it while he's eating. And by the time he's done, which he's still eating with a fork, even though I changed his utensils. All right, well, this is, this is anticlimactic. Okay, here we are, guys. We're back at the house. We're gonna get ready for bed. Um, Vince is gonna go hop in the shower because he's an extra dirty boy today. And what I mean by that is that he has a lower hygiene bar than her uh, because he took a jog this morning and she also has to use the bathroom. They're in a relationship, so I guess I'm just going to have her walk in and on him in the bathroom and also use the bathroom. But yeah, I'm super excited to play with them. Um, honestly, if there is drama, we're not going to go in with them, you little nasties. But honestly, if there is any drama with them, I'm super happy to play it out. There's... I wrote backstories for their characters and there's a lot more that I have set out to them and I'm super fine with my sims arguing. You know, couples argue and sometimes I feel like there's no depth or diversity in my sim relationships because I try to keep everything as great and good as possible. So that being said, I'm not going to force it, but if... Mm, if it happens, it happens. I'm just going to also gonna auto lights. I always auto lights and then I keep certain lights on all of the time. And I think I'm going to choose those ones and what other light? Is there a lamp in here? Yeah, I'll turn on this one. So I'm going to have her relax and wait till Vince is done. And then we'll go to bed at the same time. Wait for him to come up here and change his outfit into his sleepwear. But. I'm super excited to play with them and if you guys want to hear more um, about their characters themselves like about their backstories and their personalities if not I just plan on slowly kind of revealing it throughout the story like instead of trying to send a drunk text are you drunk hello oh she's tipsy Tipsy, Aisha is feeling slightly inebriated. Let's just look over their little buffs. She's all warmed up from consuming, consuming something hot. Nothing, feel, nothing beats the snuggly inner warmth a sim feels after filling themselves full of a toasty food and drink. That's what I'm saying. Rain and ramen. Rain and soup. That's like the golden pair. Deep connection, building strong relationships with others is cause for happiness delicious dish from eating good food or eating food sorry a very satisfying meal a very satisfying meal i'll be full for a while pleasantly satisfied from spectacular woohooing that woohoo was something to remember and then smooth sipping a smooth drink helps make any day a bit brighter I feel like they're beer drinkers and then she's tipsy and then a special connection from feeling close with someone nearby Feeling close to the sim can deepen existing romantic feelings and make Aisha want to get even closer. Dot, dot, dot. Sure you did that, you little nasty. You, there's no need. Is he, is he coming up? Why is he mopping? Is he mopping? Hello? Hello? That's so all I know. So I know he's being extra all the time, every day of his life. Well, here, let me have Aisha. Where? Is he outside? Bro, all right, I can't, I can't. We're gonna end it here because I'm not waiting for him to come upstairs and have a wholesome, wholesome end of the night when he's acting like this anyway. So um, this has been my first episode of the Honey Sun Let's Play. I wanna call it a legacy, it's not. Um, the Honey Sun Let's Play. Uh, thank you if you stayed to this point in the video to watch me dabble with The Sims and ramble on. Um, and if you liked this video and or you want to see more videos from me, uh, feel free to click the like button and or subscribe to my channel. 
that's it. I'm not used to ever saying that. And I did. So that's it. Thanks. Bye.